All right. Good morning, YouTube. My daughter. Tomorrow's her birthday. She's 20. She wanted to come in here today in the uh, spare bedroom, the guest room, and uh, watch me make a video. So, I got a comment on my uh, YouTube. Let's turn this a little bit so you're in there. You're prettier than I am. See how that works? Okay. Does your stand your mother bought me? Um, so, I uh, got a comment saying we're not going to know the date of the end of the world. Um, in Amos 3.7, God made a promise that we, in fact, will, he will reveal everything. So when he says that, is there, does that mean he's going to reveal everything except one thing? Or is he going to reveal everything? And I've been saying on my channel here that we are going to know seven days in advance. Noah had 120 years to build the ark. So he built it. Seven days before the end, God told him, get inside, and he sealed it up. They sat in that dark, dark ark. Say that three times fast. He sat in that dark ark for seven days with all those animals and everything. What must have been going through his mind? He was sealed inside. God's the one that shut that door. He did not shut the door. The Bible records that God shut the door. So he sat inside for seven days before it started raining. He knew that the destruction was coming. Lot, when he was warned to get out of Sodom, that same day, he turned around, and I like making her laugh, and turned around and looked, well, he didn't turn around, his wife did, and she turned to salt, but they destroyed it the very same day. So, there are references to Damascus, quite a few actually in the Bible, about um, Damascus being destroyed. I personally think, and this is what I put on my channel, is that Damascus... That's going to be our, our seven-day warning. Damascus is going to be destroyed. Um, anybody in Damascus, get out, because it's going to be destroyed. Uh, you can see it in the world events right now, what's going on. It's about to be destroyed. Um, they're moving all kinds of stuff around Damascus to where Israel is going to have to do something. So in my opinion, Damascus will be destroyed, and then suddenly... All of these seekers that we have that have been searching for this stuff, trying to figure out the date, they're all my heroes. They're all trying. Anybody that gets upset at anybody else for trying to understand the dates of this stuff is, uh, is wrong. We, have, we, we need to use our time better than to, um, how do you say it, like, why beat a running horse? It's already running. These guys are trying to figure it out. Why are we beating a running horse? We need to talk to the people who aren't saved and get them to understand that this stuff is going to happen. Okay? Uh, the disciple is a really nice guy. He's always on there bringing new information and, and learning about the Bible. I wanted to t take a moment and talk about all the people that I watch, which there's a lot more now than what's on this list. Um, Barry Scarborough, everybody watches him. He's a good guy. Blue Heaven, she's cool. Um, Brenda Weltner, she tried. Do we hate her now? No, she tried. We all have to understand that they're trying. They're human beings. Um, they're trying to figure it out, and they're not doing it for some kind of self-glorification. I don't know why the screen's not working on this thing. Great. I guess I'll just shut it off. Um, they're not doing it for self-glorification. They're doing it because they really want to know. Uh, everybody who's searching really wants to know. Dr. Barry Ah just did a little short video. I mean, that's that's awesome. These guys are putting, taking their time away from their lives to do this stuff. Um, I run a business, so I have plenty of time, kind of, sort of. Uh, Dunamis, he's cool. Uh, Generation 2434, that guy, I love watching his videos. He, he uh, these are all very faithful, very like seeking people they're seeking the truth you seen that that's from uh michael pearl site that's every event that's going to happen uh the way he's laid it out he put a lot of work into that right there and it's cool anyway nick vanderlin robert breaker i speak spanish i speak spanish so i kind of you know understand that guy um tol of course brother chooch um Vincent Weinard, all these guys, uh, 
one of my favorites is a watch woman 65 i wouldn't want to uh get into a debate with her about something because she's uh she's a force of nature she knows her stuff and uh if she said something i'd just be kind of like let me study because i'm not 100 percent sure because she knows her stuff anyway i want to take a moment and re you know, uh, introduce my daughter, 20th uh, birthday tomorrow, and uh, talk about Damascus again. And in the meantime, we'll just keep studying. And if you guys know anything, rather than saying, oh, you can't know, that's not true. You can know. We will know. I think we're going to know seven days in advance, but we've been looking for this date for how long? Since the beginning. They were sitting there staring up at the sky when Jesus went away thinking that it was going to happen then. They have been watching since then, and we're going to keep watching. So, okay, YouTube, uh, we'll chat with you guys later. Bye.